Have you ever been in the friend zone? Be honest, my boy. Have you ever been in the friend zone? Crazy thing is everybody want to be a player, but nobody can admit to when they got benched. You don't ever want to be in the friend zone. Ever. Because one, if you're in a friend zone, it means you're even ugly. She's not attracted to you. You don't stand a chance. Two, you had a chance, but you messed it up. So now since you messed it up and you know you messed it up and she know you messed it up, you in a state of desperation. You just doing all types of romantic gestures. You trying your best to be Romeo, but Romeo must die, nigga. <laughs> you in a friend zone to be used. Your desperation make you expendable. Third person in the friend zone, this guy's interesting. See, this is the guy that she knows is Mr. Right. You're Mr. Right, believe it or not. She knows that when she's done doing all this dirt, whatever the dirt is that she's doing, she can fall back on you. Cause you're hubby material. The reason why you're in the friend zone is because if she pull you up out the friend zone, it's gonna stop everything she got going on right now. Everything is gonna stop, whether it is she chasing her career or she out here having fun. She out here getting all types of hot dogs in her buns. If she pull you out the friend zone, ain't gonna be no more Franks on the grill. Cause you gonna stop that, you the Russell Wilson. In all these situations, you always wanna be the fourth guy in the friend zone. The guy who voluntarily put himself in the friend zone. Now that sounds crazy. How do you, how and why would you voluntarily put yourself in the friend zone? Because you don't care. Cause you have options. You just lingering around. When she ready, she ready. If she never get ready, it's all good. Life goes on. That's the guy you wanna be. That's the guy you wanna be. Now, crazy thing is, fourth guy in the friend zone usually end up being side dudes. They usually end up being side dudes. Now, I'm not out here saying you should be a side dude, cause to be honest with you, if you a side dude, you a scumbag. You know what I'm saying? At one point, I was a side dude, and I can admit that it's some scumbag stuff. Okay, I'm trying not to curse. But it's some it's some scumbag stuff, man. Fourth guy in the friend zone is always the guy who is fun. You know, let's say she's in a relationship. It takes a certain level of responsibility to keep a relationship going. But Mr. Fourth Guy in the Friend Zone, Mr. I volunteered to be here, he's irresponsible fun. You know what I'm saying? He's irresponsible fun. She can talk to him and call him up and he can say witty stuff. You know why he, it sounds like everything he says is witty? Cause he don't really care. So she'll be like, yo, why are you so rude? Because I have options. As long as you're not out here calling out her name and stuff. Now that's not, that's not witty. That's just being disrespectful. There's a difference. That That's the role I usually play, bro. To be honest with you, when I was out here dating and stuff like that. I never wanted to be Mr. Aggressive. I always wanted to be Mr. I'm minding my business. I speak when I'm spoken to, but I'm not gonna lie. Like I'll direct certain conversations and certain things towards the girl that I was interested in, but it was never. I was never aggressive. I was never overbearing. I was never desperate. I play yo. I played that role so well because I had you know what I'm saying. I had my waves and you know I was short and all that. I had to be like that. To be honest with you, I had to be like that because I was short. You know, short guys aren't the the top at the top of the food chain when it comes to females, but. If you're attractive and you know how to speak and you have a sense of humor and you know how to make her laugh and you know how to make her feel a certain type of way, you good. I think this is my last point I'm going to make about Mr. Number Four in the friend zone. These are the guys I think that usually know the bad side of a female. Like, you usually know the bad side. Like, you know, she might put on a facade for her boyfriend or, you know, she might put on a facade for Mr. Right and all these other desperate bastards that want to get up in her drawers and want to do all that. But for you, you know who she is. You know if she's a little dirty slut or not. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like, she might have went on a date with a, with a guy. He spent all that money on her and she gonna come back to your crib. Let you get up in the guts, cause you feel me? I'm gonna tell you some real stuff though. Don't try to be a side dude. Whatever you do, do not try to be a side dude. You know what I'm saying? I'm giving you this information because I know some of y'all are young 
in, in college and in high school and stuff like that, you put yourself in desperate situations and you end up getting hurt. That's when a lot of monsters are formed. Like in high school and college, dudes get their heart broken by some girl that they just throwing themselves at. They turn into animals. And I, I don't want that. I want you to understand. I want you to observe. Like the, the guy that I'm describing that places himself in the friend zone, he's an observer. He observed things, you know what I'm saying? And he has options. You always want to have options. Women respect dudes who have options. She acting up, okay, well shoot, I'm gonna go talk to the old girl right here. You don't gotta let her know, but you know, she could feel that. that you, you gotta be the dude that she'll call and be like, oh, you spoke to any of your hoes today? I know you I know you got a lot of hoes. I, you look like you got a lot of hoes. You want you wanna be that guy. You wanna be that guy. Usually <laughs> Usually bro, if a girl think you cute, she gonna say, mm. I know you a thot. Oh, I know you a hoe. Like girls say that instead of just saying, You cute or you handsome. This is a fact. I seen this on a on the T Pain podcast and I thought that was like the realest and funniest thing ever because it's so true. If a, if a chick think you cute, she gonna tell you that. But to be honest with you though, all in all, respect yourself, okay? The most disrespect, respect yourself. Respect yourself. You don't wanna be in the friend zone. You don't wanna be, you don't wanna have nobody wasting your time selling you dreams. Cause that's really what the friend zone is. If you got placed in the friend zone, that's what it is. She's literally selling you dreams. There's so many women out here for you to be stuck on one person that's benching you. You know what I'm saying? There's so many women out here that want to build a championship team with you. But you out here trying to make it to a team. She's she not even championship material. She's not even championship caliber. And she got you in the G League. Anyway, man, that's it. That's all I got to say about that right there. Right? This is the most disrespectful thing I think any female could do to a guy. If a female calls you in her bra and panties and asks you how it looked because she about to go out on a date with somebody else, that level of disrespect cannot be forgiven. Okay? Delete her. Block her off of all social media. You, you seen the video I did before where I say, why do dudes spin the block? Because of situations like that. Because of situations like that, that's why I do spin the blocks, huh?